Hello viewers and in this video I will be showing you my ultimate guide to Windows optimization. Now optimization, I mean the speeding up of my Windows PC, your Windows PC and any Windows PC that you get your hands onto. And you can also provide this as a service to make some change. Now I used to do that before, back when I was a teen and it was doing well for me. Now you can do hardware alterations such as changing your small piece, cleaning your heat sink. We remove all of dust in your motherboard on your motherboard, remove all dust in your heat sink and your fans and so on. You can also do an upgrade of RAM, an upgrade of your processor. But in this video, we only focus in on the software standpoint. So first off, I'm going to run something called this cleanup. So I'll be pressing my start button and typing this cleanup. And I don't believe that's something I should run, but let me exit this and I'll run it again. I'm going to run it as administrator. To remove any applications, any junk files, anything that I do not need, to remove it. And it all goes through your authorization. So it is completely safe and it's optional what you want to delete. Right here, you can see I can delete all this stuff right here. And I can also check out and also uncheck, but I'm not going to be deleting anything. I'm just going to press cancel. You can delete. I don't believe that to do much of a difference. If I get going to get at least, it looks like it's going to be like 50 megabytes. I don't need 50 megabytes right now. Then I press cancel, and next I'll be running defrag. So I type in defrag, and I'm going to defrag my Windows drive. Just like this cleaned up, select the one that says Windows Drive or you can see the Windows logo on it. And in my case is the C drive. I'm gonna press optimize. It will do everything for me instantly. So it's gonna take some time. Now the frag process is, is actually removing the fragmentation in your C drive. Or instead of saying C drive, your Windows installation disk where you actually have your operating system booted up right now. So fragmentation is the piling up of different bits and bytes that can transfer into data or information but it's just junk files that it does use and it is stored on the sector of your hard drive. You also work for thumb drives and you also get this kind of fragmentation in SSDs. Now this PC will soon be upgraded to a gaming PC. It has a very good motherboard that accepts up to 42 gigs of RAM. So I'm very happy about it and I will be showing you in the next video what I actually purchased for this PC. But let's get to the next step. So I'm going to minimize this. I'll be going to my taskbar, right click, press task manager. I'll be going to one of the most important steps. When Windows has to boot up, now my boot time is above, fifth, it's above 1 minute, around 1 minute and 30 something seconds. And that's already too long for me even though i'm using sata hard drive i'm not using ssd ssd do quite fast and i have a video about the difference between ssd and the difference between sata or hard drives i will see ssd at a read and write speed of 500 megabytes a second a minimum and upwards while sata based on the burn you have on the model you have I have a 3.5 inch and it has 120 megabytes a second read and write speed and that's very useless especially for gaming. So next in the startup menu right here now startup tab we going to click on status until we see all the enables are at the top so you don't have to be scrolling all through and here you can always see I have three enabled these are things that I actually need. All the others have disabled them. To enable it, you right click and then press enable. I want to enable it right now. These are actually irrelevant. And they'll be taking up RAM and they'll be taking up processor power and read and write speed from my hard drive. This speed I will see when I am um, booting up. So right here I am good. Next step, press your Windows button and then type in MS config. And then press enter. 
You can also do that by holding your Windows button, then pressing R, and type in msconfig. To be doing the same thing. So, right here you can go to your startup, and you can do the same thing a while ago through there, or you can also just go to this important point, our services. So right here you can hide all Microsoft services, and here you can see all services that comes with different applications that you have installed. So right here, I have checked all of them by pressing disable all or you can also enable all but if you have a lot of processor you wouldn't mind so i press disable all and i choose the ones that i want to enable and i only enable the ones that i need for my graphics neither team viewer or any of these other services are important right now because i'll be using the application anytime soon so now i've enabled whichever one i want to enable and then I press OK. From here, you can also run some tools, or you can also check out this diagnosis startup, or normal startup, or select a startup based on how your Windows is actually doing. So, select startup, you can load system services, or and also load startup items, or you can change it to whichever one based on how good your system is. I press OK. The next thing you're gonna do, you can press the Windows logo and type in appearance. So you're going to click on the one that says adjust appearance and performance and here you can choose for the best performance or the best appearance and I for one my appearance is quite good my performance is quite good but you can choose the one that says adjust for best performance if your PC is quite slow to remove it will remove animations it will remove different themes and schemes so the way this move on the screen right here you will not have it based on the option that you choose. So right here and press OK. So I have nothing to do with this option right here. The next thing that you'll be doing is the bonus. So you're gonna go to your browser and type in wise cleaner. So you're gonna go to wisecleaner.com and this I've been using for quite some time. Remember I said that I did some services back then and it was quite good. So here in the products tabs, here you have wise registry cleaner. You also have wise disk cleaner. So you can use these two. Wise registry cleaner is quite great. Wise disk cleaner and my third best one is wise memory optimized. And these things are very lightweight and they are what I've been using for over 10 years imagine that and they're actually free there's trials and so on but the main one i'm using right now i've already installed it so it's six megabytes and i'm going to open it right here you will have schedules and so on and here you can do advanced scan to do deep scanning and so on and my most favorite one is the slimming of windows so it will scan for everything that on the windows that you don't really need such as i don't understand japanese neither korean neither traditional chinese and you can also do the windows wallpaper because i do not use windows wallpaper that you can see and right here you can optionally choose which one you want to delete and then right here this one this one this one the help files i don't need help from windows and that's it. I press remove. So I get an extra 320 megabytes. Just assuming. You're going to create a restore point first. Okay. The greens, when you continue analyzing, all the greens will be files. Right now, you can only see yellow. Yellow has system files and so on. And this is a 1 terabyte hard drive. I want to about hard drive, WD hard drive, especially WD blue. These things are horrible. So these are my system files, yellow, quite a few. Those are other files, the green, and the red. The, there is too much red, so there's that means that there's no fragmentation. 
so this is it for this video tell me what you think any questions then you can leave it in the comments i will answer but one more bonus i forgot to mention is something that you don't usually get this tool might remove it for you well it will remove it for you but if you don't want to go access this tool so you might not have internet access what you can also do open the folder windows explorer folder in the top the address bar of your folder you type in modulus t e m p modulus press enter here is your temporary folder just type all new windows logo type in r type in the same thing so in your windows temporary folder you have temporary files for example, if you use using WinRAR, let's say you want to run the installer of GTA 5, which is um, a 60 gig game, it will extract everything from WinRAR into your temporary folder and then it will run it from a temporary folder. You may not know this, but I'm telling you this. So it will not be deleted from a temporary folder unless WinRAR executes a delete so that everything will be deleted. Most of the times, it will be like this and then everything will be stored right here in your temporary folder and you will not be able to delete it unless you know about it so right there i'm going to click on anything hold still and press e to select all press delete i'm going to click on this button and continue i'm going to delete every single thing and i only had 24 megabytes itself there because I regularly delete it. This will also help my fragmentation by deleting all the unnecessary files. And that's it for this video.